So um, I live in an apartment now, uh, so I can't play super loud. It's been a lot of years since I've had to deal with this issue, but I've seen people posting recently how to quiet a whistle. Um, you can get a Parks whistle. Uh, they have a volume slide that evidently works really well, but Parks' is, store is closed at the moment, so you can't just get a Parks whistle. Uh, and it's $80. Um, you can put tape across the mouthpiece, and I have done this in the past, but I don't like what makes the whistle sound. It's usually very windy. It doesn't work that well. Um, some people have put rubber bands, and I hadn't gotten around to trying that yet. Um, I did hear somebody say uh, to try blue tack. Uh, and I happen to have some Elmer's poster putty, which is the same as blue tack. Uh, and I just globbed some on here. Uh, I didn't even really spend a lot of time with it. You can see it's not on there super evenly. I just globbed it on there, and I figured I would start with this much, which is like maybe 10% exposed and the rest covered. Uh, and give it a try. And it worked out real well right off the bat. So I thought I'd make a video so other people who want to quiet a whistle to do so. I just ripped a piece off and stuffed it on there with my phone. I'm going to play Shebeg Shemor. Uh, it has a lot of second octave notes, including all the way up to the high B, which is usually super loud. Uh, and I feel very confident I could play this in my apartment and not disturb my neighbors. So it works great. I can hit all the notes. Uh, the bottom octave, the bottom notes are weaker than normal, uh, but I would expect that. So I'm not complaining about it. It means I can practice in my apartment. Uh, I can hit all the, the cuts and crayons and trills and all the ornaments that are normally hit without a problem. Uh, so if you're looking to quiet your whistle, uh, some poster putty might be what you're looking for.